The Hobbit's well and truly left its footprint on the capital, with the movie's world premiere held a success. The event attracted tens of thousands of people to central Wellington, and as Rebecca Edwards reports, the stars were impressed with the show. What a difference 24 hours can make. Yesterday, Courtney Place was pulsing with thousands of Hobbit fans and stars. Today, post cleanup, you'd be forgiven for wondering if a world premiere even happened here. But happen it did, and organisers are thrilled. So many of the cast that have not done a Peter premiere before were blown away. They were like, oh my God, this is crazy. We've never seen a premiere like this. So it was a good result. Everyone's very happy. And for those lucky enough to be in these seats, it wasn't just the first Hobbit movie they got to see, but the first ever 3D film shot at 48 frames per second. When moviegoers got a snippet from the film earlier this year, some didn't like the look of it. But those behind the technology say, get used to it. What you're seeing is more information, more detail, more realism. And for me, I, I just think uh, it's sort of like once you've seen color, you don't want to go back to black and white. And I think this is, uh, is groundbreaking and it's going to set a new standard for, for films in the future. Post premiere, though, there were no complaints as the stars flocked to a private party on Wellington's waterfront. It's fantastic. It's really awesome. Yeah, it's good. I'm blown away by it. I and mean, that's the second time. I need to go and see it again. Yeah, it's amazing. Now's time for it to be handed over, and it belongs to the moviegoers of the world. And with two more films to come, the big question is will their world premieres also be held here? It's Peter's hometown, and. You never know. Even if it's not a world premiere, I'm sure it might be an Australasian premiere. Whatever the case, the capital will no doubt welcome another party like this one. Rebecca Edwards, one.